what is up youtube welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to show you some of the best input delay tweaks and zero uh ping well tweaks that will help you lower your ping in fortnite and in any other game so before we actually start don't forget to like and subscribe as it is the best way for you guys to support me each and every day and yeah let's get started all right first you want to what you want to do you want to go to your settings we're going to start with some uh with one windows setting tweak that i know helps lower your ping we're going to go to windows settings and then we're going to go make sure you have um the latest windows update obviously but we're going to uh, go to delivery optimization which should be under all right you're just going to search up the setting i honestly forgot where it was but you're going to search up delivery optimization advanced settings you're going to click here then first uh by default i think absolute bandwidth will be on but what you want to do you just want to copy what i have here on the screen you're gonna make sure you clicked percentage of measured bandwidth uh and then you're gonna click on limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the background limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading um, updates in the foreground and you're gonna it's gonna probably be up here just make sure it's all the way down here to five percent for both then for upload settings, you're going to do the same thing. It's probably, I have no idea what the default, uh, what it's going to look default, but just bring it all the way to five gigabytes and 5%. So like both and yeah, there you go. And that's pretty much it. And then you're going to click out, you're going to right click, go to the Nvidia control panel. If you have a Nvidia card, I am not sure for AMD card, but just right click, go to your Nvidia control panel. And I'm going to show you the best uh, 3D settings to use to help you get more FPS and lower input delay. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to go to image scaling. Make sure this is off. Make sure ambient occlusion is off. Filtering, anastropic filtering off. So off, 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 off. Then for background application, max frame rate off. CUDA GPUs, make sure it's on all. DSR factors off low latency mode i uh i rec okay guys so i recommend you to put this on off because later in the video i'm going to show you uh something that's going to help you lower input delay and having this on is not going to help that much since it's already um it, like turned on in fortnite and in other games because i'm pretty sure most games have the nvidia reflex um uh, setting so yeah just make sure that's off and i already tested it and i can see there's a massive like lower input delay than having ultra on and the video reflex on so yeah just make sure low latency mode is off max frame rate off uh multi-frame sampled aa off open gl rendering gpu uh make sure that's on your graphics card just scroll down it should have your graphics card just click on that then make sure power management mode is on preferred maximum performance refresh rate for your monitor highest available Shader cache size, you can put driver default. Yeah, just make sure it's on driver default. Anastropic sampling, um, the setting, just put it on on. Negative LOD bias, put it on allow, quality, high performance. Then trilinear optimization on, on, off, off, and make sure pre-rendered frames are on one. Now, after you have done that, you wanna scroll to add, just yeah adjust desktop size and position make sure your scaling mode is on full screen make sure perform scaling is on display and make sure i'm pretty sure you can check this i don't think this, this is optional um i have it turned off but these the, these settings right here have like gave me the lowest input delay in fort and it's all it's like amazing so yeah those are the settings for Nvi the nvidia control panel i recommend you guys using these settings if you guys want lower input delay and yeah now I have one more tweak for you guys that I'm gonna show you real quick, and yeah, it's gonna it's a it's a it's a short process, but it, you have to follow the steps in order to do it. So let's do it. All right, guys. So what you wanna do? You wanna go to your keyboard and type Windows R, then the run um, command is gonna pop up. You're gonna type in percent local app data percent, then click OK. Then you're gonna scroll down, look for Fortnite, and then we're gonna delete it. Yes, we're gonna delete the Fortnite game setting. What this is gonna um, do, it's gonna reset your game, like remove any cache, 
all that stuff stuff um that are in the past seasons and all that we're gonna refresh it and just create a whole new folder for this season and i'm gonna show you guys how to do that so just delete the fortnite game folder then after you do that you're gonna head back into fortnite all right so fortnite's gonna load up it might like have like a yellow bar in the bottom or saying it's updating or loading or whatever but it's gonna um open back up then it's gonna say this um i'm gonna say confirm you can decline it confirm it doesn't matter then once you get in the game you're gonna see that all your settings are reset and everything is gonna show the battle pass all that stuff okay you're gonna probably be on dx 11 or 12. you're gonna head to your settings and we're gonna tweak or change some settings here okay make sure in your audio settings it's on low sound quality and then if you want visualized sound effects you can turn that on you're gonna click apply we're gonna head back into the video tab and guys the only settings that it's gonna reset is the settings in your video tab it's not gonna be anything in your game tab you know like you know i have this on before so it's not gonna reset that not your hud scale um not your sense none of that stuff so don't, you guys don't have to worry about that it is gonna reset your account and privacy settings so i recommend turning show text chat off uh you can leave that on if you want to receive gifts you can leave that on uh, I'm going to leave these three on. Show on career leaderboard. Uh, you can leave that on, but I think for lower input delay, you can turn it off. I'm going to turn it off. Then player surveys, if you want this on or off, that turning it off will give you lower input delay. All these will give you lower input delay, but um, just for like my, you know, how I use the game and stuff with friends and all that, I'll leave these three on. So you're going to head back into your video tab. Make sure your window mode is on full screen uh if you're using stretch res uh uh you can go back to your res uh i somehow like randomly like i i added my stretch res and it somehow was in the game so um i'm using 1440 by 1080 i'm at 1440 by 810 make sure your frame rate is at your monitor's um highest refresh rate so mine is with 44 hertz brightness i'm leaving at 100 user interface i'm leaving at 1x you can use any clear by mode i'm using deuce and Rope in eight and then for the quality i'm putting it all on low okay make sure auto download auto download high resolution is off okay guys and now we're getting to the most important stuff so i need you guys to you know pay attention all right bruh v-sync off motion wear off show fps you can keep on if you want then make sure this goes to performance mode click confirm make sure all allow multi-threaded rendering is on then go to nvidia reflex low latency this is what i'm talking about you want to make sure the low latency mode in the control panel is off and make sure this is on on plus boost this will help you get the lowest input delay possible in fortnite and in valorant and in apex because they all have um you know the setting as well but yeah so make sure you have on plus boost on make sure uh, you have allow multi-threaded rendering on if you have more than four cores and you can check this by going to your task manager and checking how many uh, cores that's on your cpu under the performance tab okay so after that after setting it to performance mode you're gonna exit out exit out the game and it's okay if the background is in the blue the blue um background it's okay you just restarted the game so you're gonna it's gonna go back to the screen but you're gonna close out the game after setting those settings up then we're gonna go back to our keyboard type windows r go to percent local app data percent click ok scroll down find the fortnite game as you can see the folder came back click on it click on saved config windows client and then your game user settings is going to pop up right click it make sure red only is not checked just click apply then ok once it's not checked and then go into your game user settings and we're going to change some stuff in here so your full screen mode is going to be on zero okay we're going to scroll 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 make sure show grass is on false okay now we're going to go to ray tracing shadow quality make sure this is on false all the ray tracing settings make sure it's on false with a capital letter in the front all right Make sure reflection qualities is on zero and ambient occlusion quality is on false. AO quality is on zero. Then leave the front end frame rate limit because Fortnite set that. Then if you want to change like your gamma, uh, like uh, how your game looks kind of, 
uh, you can set this to between 2.2 and 2.7 uh, but I'm gonna just leave it at 2.2 uh, then we're gonna scroll past all of this and there's gonna be disable mouse acceleration you can put this on true if you want but I noticed my aim is worse with this on for some reason so I put it on false you guys can do the same if you want then we're gonna scroll down scroll 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 okay you're gonna keep scrolling you can also change your res here to any stretch res you want as well so i'm using 1440 by 810 you can cap uh your frame rate to any limit but i'm gonna leave it at 144 hertz then all the scalability groups make sure you leave this on 100 change all of these to zero then all of these are not your chat settings are not really that important and that's pretty much it yeah so you want to use these gamer user settings once you're done make sure you click on save exit out right click properties then click on red read only click apply then okay now we're gonna head back into fortnite and check it out but yeah so now as you guys can see i'm getting 144 fps consistent stable my ping is at 20. i actually did get like a new modem which i'll make a video on soon so that's also why i'm getting like i upgraded my internet so that's why also why i'm getting uh better ping and everything but yeah that's pretty much how you lower um input delay and ping but and i hope this like actually helps you guys um i'm not really good at like <laughs> explaining things and stuff and like trying to teach people how to do stuff because there's always that one person that ends up not following every step and messes it up and stuff but yeah i hope this actually helps but yeah that's pretty much how you lower input delay and get good fps and get lower ping all right guys i have one extra tip just for the uh some of my subscribers that might have the same pc that i have like the dell optiplex pcs and you know the small form factors or the mini towers from dell the optiplexes the 1920 3020 or the 720 that i have there's actually a program called support assist agent and i'm gonna have a link for you guys to download it it's gonna keep your pc in check and make sure you know most of your drivers are actually updated and everything so i'm gonna just head there right now so once you click the link in the bio it's gonna take you here and you're gonna click on download support assist i already have it downloaded so just go through the whole installation process and then it should come up in your taskbar i did have issues with it in the first first part it was not showing up and i i kept searching for it and it wouldn't pop up but that's probably because i have search index turned off but hey uh it, it should you know pop up on your desktop or something i don't know you could also search it up here but it's going to come out from this logo it's going to say support assist for home pcs and then after it's loaded up and then this is going to pop up uh, i already have some drive space uh you know removed and stuff i updated so a driver and i also optimized my files and all that uh, what you want to do is just click run all and it will literally boost your performance of your dell Optiplex or your Dell home PC. And it's probably gonna take around 40 to an hour, uh, 40 minutes to an hour, or depending on your PC and its hardware. It might take less than that, probably 10 minutes or up to an hour. So uh, yeah, that's just an extra tip for uh, the people that are using the same PC I have, you know, the Dell Optiplex and the Dell home PCs. And yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As I try to help you boost your performance and lower input delay and even help you lower your ping in Fortnite. And hopefully it helps you in any other game you might be uh you might play. And I I'm not really good at explaining things, but I hope I explained everything at tip top shape and help you complete every step step without any problems or any harm to your PC. Well it shouldn't really be harming your PC. If it harmed your PC you did something wrong. But um yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it is the best way for you guys to support me in each and every video. And yeah, it's your boy Klutai and I'm out and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.